Okay, so following the video review, yeah, this is what happens when you miss playing a game for 10 years, you don't even notice what's going on. We saw that there were two pedestals that we couldn't push because there were sphere-shaped recesses in them, and I, for the life of me, did not know where they were. Turns out they're right over here next to the monitors. So we take these away and black out the room. <laughs> yeah, apparently this is what you're supposed to do. Ah, uh, ten years, what can I say? That one goes in. The next um, little corner lights up. And then let's go get the other sphere. Now, I don't know why they refer to them as Kelika Sphere and Besaid Sphere when they're both here in Xanarkand. They, shouldn't they be both referred to as Xanarkand Spheres? Just putting that out there. But yeah, now all six panels are completed. Yeah, that only took me forever to figure out. Uh, that was just bad on my part, but like I've been saying many times, when you haven't played a game for such a long time, there are little details that you're gonna forget about. I mean, you'll forget about, you'll remember a lot of the big stuff, but there are some little things that you're just gonna forget so easily. So, now that we've done derping around, let's go get ourselves a piece of action. For there is a boss to confront. Let's get ready to take it on. So we get to go to this psychedelic star world and prepare ourselves to fight this particular adversary, which is rather formidable. And come on out from the depths of the abyss to fight me. Just hope I have the correct wards and the correct protections to help me out here. Right. Alright, we're not going to move as of right now. We're going to see what I can do with Triple Foul now that I have it in my ops in my possession. Oh, we actually silenced it. Well, that's pretty good. That, however, not so good. Alright, um, I guess Riku's gonna have to come in and use an all-bed potion. Um. Let's make sure that we actually are using an Albed Potion, of course. We have 82 of them. I think we've done well to make it with this number. Um, I am going to use a move command. Let's have her go to the back. Let's, let's spread ourselves out a bit. Um, let's have um, Orin come in. And let's throw a... Yeah, let's throw a high potion in the direction of Lulu, if I can just throw it, make sure I'm throwing it to her. Right, Berserk Tail. Oh, that's gonna come back to haunt me, possibly. Because now we have no control of Waka. And he's gonna go all out. And now Waka's dead. <laughs> yeah, so much for Waka. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to use a... Phoenix down to revive him. And then after following that, we're gonna have to use like a... Um... Let's get Yuna in here. To use Kuraga. Because, yeah, that will definitely be a requirement here. If I could just move Waka over and I healed the wrong person. I healed the wrong person and now Yuna is berserked. Oh, well, isn't that just special? Oh, it took damage? I wasn't expecting that. Uh, yeah, so far all Orin's doing is bringing people back from the dead. I need to get Waka moved over to another side. Let's move him over there, yes. And let's see another Berserk Tail go off and make it hit Waka, but this time he survives that. Alright. 
Kuraga on Oren, please. There we go. Now then, attack! Nice! And here comes an attack on Waka for 2400. Alright, so we're in safe zones right now, so. Okay. Well, I might as well use the slots. I mean, I've got them, I might as well use them. Try and score as many points as I can. Perfect. There we go. Hey, you. You're all wet. Take this! Not bad. But now, Waka's about to die after being... after initiating that attack. Okay. So, Yuna must now cast life on Waka. But it could be all for naught. And now, Orin's berserked. Yeah, this thing definitely does hit you hard. And here comes its attack. Okay. Well, we've got our various summons at the ready, so we might as well have Bahamut come in and make a dent in this thing. Only makes sense. We've got to make some big moves here. Alright, Mega Flare. And fire! Cause as much damage as possible. Cause yeah, this thing hurts like crazy. 18,000 points, nice. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on, I dare ya. Oh, it's put a glyph mine where Bahamut was and now he's dead. Well, I did accomplish what I set out to do, so I can't be too disappointed about that. Alright. So now, everyone returns to their previous positions. And uh, let's... Well, we have 24 Mega Potions, might as well use them. And here comes another Berserk Tail. And Waka is able to withstand it. Alright, let's get other people in here, because, yeah, we need to really bring down some damage on this thing. Alright, let's go here. Go, 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 Oh yeah, and Orin's still berserked. But why is Lulu taking the attack? That's not right. That's not right at all. Alright then, bring... Um... Yeah, where's my life spell? There it is. Alright. But was it worth it? Not really, because now I'm in trouble again. <laughs> yeah, take that, you. Yeah, but now Yuna's dead. Oh, and Orin's about to join her. Or we could just win the battle. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll take it. Yeah, and sadly everyone did not score, but given the circumstances of this kind of battle, I have no problem with just winning and moving on. Uh, good thing or encounters for everyone else too at this point. So I think only four people are gonna get experience points out of that. Cause Yuna got killed off before the f the winning blow. So yeah, there's our portal to destiny. Yuna, we're here. The Hall of the Final Summoning. Go. Indeed it is. Yes. And so away she goes.
Yeah, only four people get to score because we couldn't get everyone out. I was more concerned about protecting myself and once again, not getting level 3 key spheres. Huh? What do you mean, no final Aeon? Yeah, that was checked. Wondering what's going on. Everyone. Yeah, every suddenly we must all get down there. Because, yeah, there's something particularly important down there, and we've got to deal with it. So, let's go ahead and save the game. Because it's now time for a very important section. Alright. I honestly don't believe there's anything else we could do that hasn't already been done by me. Um, do I have anything that has piercing? I have that, but I don't know if it'll necessarily help here. Um... I'll equip the Avenger, if for no other reason than the fact that maybe it'll help us out a bit. Yeah, we definitely need to make sure our strongest attackers have the piercing ability. And then... I'm pretty sure that they do have to be protected from zombie. Alright, so let's hope for the best here. Alright, I'm going to just skip for a moment, so I'll need to take, something care of, take care of something real quick, and I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, if you're ready, so am I. Let's do this. This isn't a faith. It's just an empty statue. That statue lost. Whoa, how'd you get down here? Long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Lord Zeon is his soul is gone. Gone? You mean there is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. Well, at least we know we can still get it. And the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the lady awaits. And once again, the spirit vanishes. Yuna, wait! Aaron, you knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? Yeah, of course, because he's made this path once before. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? Touche. Yuna. I'm not going back. Kimari knows. Yeah, someone's gotta save Sin, or save the world from Sin. Kimari protect. Yeah, why would we want to save Sin? <laughs> that came out all horribly wrong. Alright. In we go. Time to find out how to obtain the final Aeon. <gasps> Someone's coming! Don't be scared, Riku. I mean, you've been scared by worse before. Ah, and yes, it is indeed the one and only Lady Unaleska. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. Choose? You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> So someone else must be sacrificed. Between Chosen and Summoner. For that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true 
and I obtained the final Aeon. Well, now we know how Jack became Sin. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Why are you talking like Mr. Seymour? Braska chose this path. Yeah, now this situation. It's not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Indeed. Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. Just like Riku. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. Oh, really? My dream is back in the other Anakin. I wanted to make that runt into a star blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight Sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know? Well, it does, do but not yet. the way you thought it would be. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me. I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Checked? What? You're not gonna try to stop me too. Sorry. I mean... Thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh... Well, let's go. And thus, they parted ways. Leaving Orin to just... Now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm, every time. The cycle will continue and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked? Trust me, I'll think of something. <laughs> That's what they all say. I'll think of something, and so far no one has thought of anything. That's the strange and unusual situation around this. And thus, the dejected Orin is left by himself. Yeah, and now old Orin is trying to chop away at his own ghosts, at his own visions. And the cycle went on. We'll break it. But how? What, you got a plan now? <laughs> If one of us has to become a faith, I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That's right. That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? Yeah, like the old proverb, you can't have your cake and eat it too. But I want everything. Now you're being childish. Exactly. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I going to just stand here and let Yuna go. Because you, you love her, don't you? Oren said about there being a way. I think it's true. You'll think of... <laughs> Something? Well, yes. you just keep going back to that like a broken record. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. 
this is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? Yeah, it's everyone's story. It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do... I do... with no regrets. And so, away she goes. She makes her way to Lady Unaleska to... give her final decision. And so let's go and meet up with Lady Unaleska again. And so now off into the universe. Well, I don't know, a pedestal in the middle of nowhere. And welcome back. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And now you know how Jack became Sin. Is Sin reborn? So that's why Jack became Sin. Exactly. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never ending. Never ending? But, but, if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? <sighs> this, this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement! It's been our only hope all these years. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die. Because they had hope. And then Oren loses his mind and pays the price. Gets knocked back, lands on his head, <coughs> and is emotionally scarred forever. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? Well, she has to make a decision whether she likes it or not. And... Obviously, there's a lot of no one. bad situation, what means. I gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them, but no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No, it is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people, so they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted... to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just... covered up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father... I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow... in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday, I will conquer it. And so now she has a new objective in her life. False hope. 
Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me let me listen to these her. people from Yevon absolutely trying to be like um, encouragers of like stuff like euthanasia, this is it. that sort of thing. Now is the time to choose: die and be free of pain, or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari, protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. You can always run. <laughs> I'd never forgive myself. No way. Yeah, is he actually smiling right about now. this? That's actually Even surprising. Death, yeah? My thoughts exactly. So are we ready? This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. So now we have to lock horns with Lady Unalaska. In what I believe is the longest single battle in the entire game. So let's see here. Might as well start by doing some haste. That would be something that would definitely make a lot of sense at this point in the early going. So Lady Unalaska launches her initial attack. It's not that much. Um, give Le low haste to Lulu. Let's throw some Firaga in her direction. Ooh, 6,400 points. And no sooner is that used than Sonance is thrown. Thankfully, though, I have Echo Screens. And uh, it looks like I may need to use them. Yeah, she's good at staying a step ahead. Um... Alright, yep, we bottled these things for a reason. And this is where we use them. Alright, another Firaga your way. That was me, it's even stronger. Uh, here comes her regular attack. Uh, wait, this is Orin's attack. Okay, well then... Let's use my drops. And then, let's go over to Waka. And have him attack. Oh, 3,000 points, not bad. And Orin, go. I mean, we're not doing too badly. Um, let's go with the Echo Screen, please. And was oh, yeah, Orin was halved. All right, launch. Alright, that is the end of phase one. Now on to phase two. Now she gets a little bit tougher. And how much is this gonna hurt me? Hopefully not too much. Okay, Lulu and um, Orn are both zombie. We need to use, um, where are my remedies? Alright, there's one. And then, let's get out the, another remedy. And then let's have Orin use a mega po- Actually, no. Um, let's get Riku in here to score some points, and she can use an all bed potion. Just to say that she has accomplished a task. Alright, 48,000. Here we go. Another 6,500 points. And this time, it does not come with silence. 
And now, um, yeah, you just helped me out there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Titus. Um, let's haste on Waka. All right, go Waka. Thirty-three hundred points. Followed by an immediate counterattack. Firaga. And... 7,000. And this time, no response from... From Una, Lady Unaleska. Alright. Let's throw. Another 3,300 points, and here comes another Hellbiter. Alright, how badly will this affect me? Alright, Titus and... Lulu are zombies. Alright, so then... Well, actually... Change of plans. Let's bring in Yuna to use a remedy, just so that if something really goes wrong, I'm not in a worst case scenario. Oh, uh, but it looks like we're gonna have to deal with that. Everyone, okay, everyone endured. Okay, everyone endured. Nice. Take that. And then more damage coming my way. And then... Now let's get Orin back in here. He's still suffering from his darkness. Alright, so let's throw him some eye drops. Okay. And then Lulu. Firaga. And I'm shocked I don't have her using haste yet. Perhaps we should change that. And perhaps we're going to get struck by Hellbiter again. And we all endured again. Awesome. Alright, well then let's use a Mega Potion. Get everyone up to a bit more respectable numbers and go again another 6700 orange scores for 45 and she's gonna use Regan and it's gonna be on Waka but he's already benefiting from it alright so I know I have a few ethers so I can use them if I have to Alright, that's the end of phase two. And so far I'm shocked that I'm actually making this a lot easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, now she's gonna go in overdrive here. Mega death. Yeah, this will not go well. Uh, I just have to get killed off. And like that, it's over. Well, I hope you can appreciate the situation I'm going to be, have to deal with now. Because, yeah, I guess we're going to have to try and do this again. So, we're going to have to do this another time. So, I guess that's going to do it for today's recording. I'm going to have to devise a new strategy and figure out how to deal with the death ward situation. So, I need to have stuff that has both death and zombie to protection so I guess that's it so I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy X and when I join you again we will try and defeat Lady Unalaska so until next time everyone take care and I will see you soon